just bought some uh, sandwiches which I can share with the young man I just found. So Oaxaca is one of Mexico's poorest states with many families living in extreme poverty. Luckily there are organizations like Centro Esperanza Infantil or Oaxaca Street Children Grassroots. Now I'm standing at one of their offices where they help children with their uh, education. Also, I just went to the uh, market to buy uh, a lot of toys, stuffed animals, they really look beautiful. So um, let's spread some happiness around here. Also, I'm standing next to Eren Dieter. We're right at one of your uh, centers right now in Oaxaca. Yes. So, can you show us around a little bit? Yes, of course. Yeah. We are six people in the staff and we have been working very, very lovely, kindly and with lots of love for the family. Beautiful tiles as well. Yeah. It's like typical Oaxacan, right? Yes, the, the central patio and the rooms around it. Oh, and the rooms around it. Also, we have here the small spaces for tutoring. Mm -hmm. And the tutoring is like for students who need a little extra help, right? Right. Because primarily you help students to go to their normal schools around right. here. Hola. You can see the children. Hola. Hola. Diana? Sí. Ron is going to donate some toys and magazines for the children. So please receive them. Okay. There you go. Huh? Yeah. Another? Uh -huh. Okay. We're gonna use for the three kings party. You know, every January mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, organizing a party for, in this case, for three hundred and ten children. Oh, wow. Let them can make a donation, and I hope they're happy Thank with you it. So much. You're welcome. Of course, if you wanna have friends or girlfriends or like that, you can. Send sure, sure. I'll make sure I put the link in the video so people can uh, find your organization, yes. make the donations if they want. Is receiving everything, uh, candies, or toys, or books, whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. okay? Always is going to be welcome. So it's pretty impressive what they have uh, going on here in uh, their center in uh, Oaxaca. And um, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to talk a bit with the children who, uh, who get there, but uh, Erendira told me that I have to talk in Spanish, so I, I hope everything's going to be all right. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Erendira me dijo que necesito hablar en español para ti para entender. Sí? ¿Tú sí. sabes un poquito de inglés también? Uh, muy poquito. Muy poquito? <laughs> ah, vamos a probar. ¿Es bueno si siente contigo? Sí. sí? Yo me llamo Natalia. Natalia? Sí. Muy rica, ¿y tú? Virginia. ¿Virginia? Sí. Muy tímida. Eroti. 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 Rosy. 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 Qué nombre linda. Mi nombre es um, Roberto, uh -huh. como Rob en holandés. Uh -huh. ¿Qué estás haciendo en uh, el centro de aquí? Pues yo vengo a estudiar aquí, mm -hmm. vengo a hacer mis tareas y vengo a comida. Sí. Y ayudan, bueno, no, no es solo para la comida, ¿sí? sí para También para las tareas. Sí. ¿Qué quieren uh, hacer cuando uh, seas más viejo? Más, más grande. Más grande. Más grande. Ah. Ayer también uh, me digo viejo y Zoe, cre creí que era Zoe, era mirando a mí, ¿qué, qué estás haciendo viejo? Es más grande. Más grande, vale. sí. ¿Qué quieres ser cuando sea más grande? Um, no sé, me gustaría viajar. ¿Viajar? Sí. Pero no es un trabajo, sí. ¿Biólogo? Pero los bi biólogos eh, se, se viajan, ¿sí? Sí. Para el mundo, para conocer otros animales y plantas, sí. sí. ¿Y tú? Y a mí, pues a mí me gustaría, estoy entre dos, psicología o estudiar para administración de empresas. ¿Administración de negocios? Sí. ¿Sí? O psicología. ¿Quieres trabajar por un gran, uh, gran edificio? Uh -huh. Sí. Que sea mi edificio, tal vez. 
Sí, como un banco o... Uh -huh. Empresas. Empresas, uh -huh. ¿vale? Y ganar dinero para sí, la empresa, sí. 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 Es muy importante para los, uh -huh. los negocios. ¿Y tú? ¿Sabes todavía qué quieres ser cuando es más grande? grande. <risa> Veterinaria. Ah, sí. ¿Si ¿Sí te gustan animales? Sí. ¿Y qué es tu animal favorito? El gato. El gato. Uh, tú sabes, muy rápido también. ¿Tú tienes un gato? No. ¿No? Pero vas a tener. Sí. sí. ¿Y cómo tú vas a llamar a tu gato, tu gatito? Sí, gatito estrella. ¿Estrella? Sí. Wow, como las estrellas en el cielo. Si no estaba esta organización, ¿era posible para ti para estudiar también? Sí, vale, muy bien, que es una organización como esa, sí. Sí, bastante. Encantado y te deseo mucha suerte con tu biología y los cadáveres muertos y analizar esos. Y tú que seas una buena mujer en negocios y tú para tener un... Gatito muy cariño, cariñoso, 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 sí, y puede ser una veterana muy talentoso. Vale, buen día chicos, encantado. Gracias muy bien para uh, recibirme en tu uh, um, tu casa, no, uh, tu sí, centro. Es, es mi segunda casa. Es, es tu segunda casa. Todos estamos aquí sí. muchas horas todos los días. Sí, vale. Eh, Estás trabajando muy buen trabajo aquí gracias. y te deseas mucho suerte con tu buenos trabajos en el futuro también. Gracias, Rob. So there was a little tour around uh, Centro Esperanza Infantil or Oaxaca Street Children Grassroots and it's really amazing to see what they're doing over there. They're helping hundreds of children to, you know, rise out of poverty and get like a chance to being a doctor or a businesswoman or really anything the children want to. So um, I'm going now to visit uh, Marta, she's the founder of the organization and I'm very curious to learn a little bit more about her story as well. I'm sorry Marta, I'm a little bit later, I just bought some uh, sandwiches which I can share with the young man I just found uh, making beautiful music on the street. So I just finished my lunch and I'm here at uh, Bekari School. This is uh, the school of uh, Marta, also the founder of uh, Oaxaca Street Children uh, Grassroots. So um, let's go inside. Hola, buen día. Hola, gracias. Hola, buenos días. Tengo una cita con Marta. Sí. Gracias. Hola Marta, buen día. Buen día. Buenas tardes, ya. Buenas tardes, ¿cómo Hola. Uh... Pues ya no sabemos cómo. Encantado. Mi nombre es Rob. ¿Y quién Hola. es él? Él es Miki. ¿Miki? Sí. Hola, ¿cómo te vas, chico? So, Marta, right? Sí, sí. Marta. Marta Canseco. Marta Canseco. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How did you start this organization? What, what made you to... The Take this part. It started about 30 years ago and it was started by um, a lady from the United States. Her name was Jodi Bauman mm -hmm. and she was in Oaxaca uh, learning some Spanish, but she never learned. <laughs> and then uh, she saw some children uh, at the Zocalo, which is the main ah, part of see. Oaxaca, that were not at the school and that were asking for money or food. And then she asked them, what, why you're not at the school? And said, we need to work, the, the children answer. So she told hmm. she, 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 she talked about that. And then she decided to start helping these three children and then five children. And then um, to start some, so how to take them to school. She in person went and mm -hmm. asked and, he, and, and he helped these children. And then um, another children, you know, they told, the children told another family and then that's, that's how it started. It's also for myself because I'm traveling and I'm interviewing people about um, NGOs. Mm -hmm. 
Like it's so weird for myself to at one day I go to Yerba Agua, you have so much fun with all these people. And at the other day I'm doing this and I yeah. encounter like a boy like that. And I'm thinking like, I mean, you, you cannot live like that to be like, you know, only support or, uh, but it's difficult. It is, it is. I, I and you see, you know, sometimes I always come uh, on Porfirio Diaz Street and there is on the corner, there is only, always a lady with three children and one is just carrying one and then the other two are pretty small and they have to, to work and they have to do something to get some money. I, that, that breaks everybody's heart. Yeah, I see. Every day I want to go through that. I said, no, again. <laughs> but <laughs> no, that's... Then you need to see how to, to help. You know, yeah. You like, have this little thing. You help as much as you can. But then you also know why you're doing it for, right? And I'm also very much impressed by the grades. Like I saw yeah. in your news uh, newsletter, mm -hmm. like tens, nines, it's way higher than what I got <laughs> in, in high school. Like these kids are so motivated yeah. and yeah. wow, they really, That's they really nail it. They have so many difficulties. It's not yeah, just like they want to study even harder. Yeah. yeah, because they have to, you know, they, they don't eat well. They, they don't live in a nice house and they have problems with their parents. Maybe it's only the mother or the grandmother. So then it's a lot of, you know, we said um, rocks in your way. Yes, they yes. Have to, for them, it's more difficult. But they're so and eager. Get good grades is like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, also, we always have a, a party for them on January 6th, which okay. is the Three Kings Day. In Three Mexico. Kings Day, I heard yeah. it, yeah. So we, that's the only party we make for our children. And uh, we give s a special gifts to the students who get the, the best grades. Mm -hmm. And this year, 15 kids <laughs> got 10. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, it's a lot. <laughs> so it costs the organization a lot. Like You're no. like, <laughs> slow down a bit <laughs> with your uh, average right. grades. You can slack a little yes, bit as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, it's really powerful, you know. Yeah. And um, also, you know, for many years, in the years that we've been through, we, at first, we, there was only like one student at university level, two students, five, ten students. Right now, we have 100 at university level, which is like, oh, we could not ask for more. <laughs> that's like what we want. Yeah, yeah, very <laughs> These kids good. kids will have a different life, or at least that's what we want, and we hope they can yeah. get better jobs and better things for their families. Many of our children started when they were like in kindergarten mm -hmm. or elementary school. Yeah, for a long time. And now when you see them, they are already at university <laughs> and they yeah. are totally different and then they, they, they change. And that's the best thing. I have one, one more question. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and that is basically for myself, but also for the people that are viewing. Mm -hmm. um, like, I think there are a lot of people including myself that would like to change the world for the better or like mm -hmm. to have a positive impact. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a tip for for me and for other people who would like to do some good in the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I really think that it's important to respect people. Like, um, you know, we have a very famous uh, president from uh, from Mexico mm -hmm. and so far has been the only indigenous president we have ever Benito had. Juarez? Yeah, and he was from Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. And his saying was, uh, el respeto al derecho ajeno es ah. la paz. Entre los, y he says, entre los individuos como entre las naciones, el respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. And that is, in that English? Is between, among, uh, between people and countries, the most, uh, the respect to each other is peace. That is peace. Yeah, so if, you res if we respect cultures, if we respect people, if we respect the rights of everyone, we're going to have peace and we're going to be, be happy. But if you think that you are better than the others, then there is no respect. I think that's a beautiful uh, conclusion of this uh, mm -hmm. this interview. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for all the good work you're doing for Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. It's really inspirational for me as well to hear what you're doing. Um, and really, I mean, just walking into the center, it's just it filled my heart of all the the love, the positivity just drains off of the walls. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, but it is like that. So um, I wish you all the best uh, that you may open 10 more centers and uh, help all the children here around and uh, thereby creating also like a beautiful future for Oaxaca and the region.